Good afternoon, good evening, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is Prophetess Linda Ross coming on this evening, praise God. Thank you for coming in and joining me, Prophetess Linda Ross, praise God. Good. Praise the Lord, this is Prophetess Linda Ross, I want you to come in and join me. Good evening. Good evening. I do have a word from God. Good evening. Thank you for coming in and joining me. Praise the Lord. Thank you for coming in and joining me this afternoon. Prophetess Linda Ross. Praise the Lord. I just we just given honor to God, giving God the glory, giving God the praise. So I do have a message from the Lord. I do have a word. I'm asking you to come in and invite your followers, Androids, right from bottom to top, iPhone from left to right. <clears throat> so this is the day the Lord has made. This is the evening, the day that God has made. We shall rejoice. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. So I'm saying hello, viewers. Praise the Lord. Blessings. Blessings in Jesus' name. Um, good evening. Good evening. We're just praising God. Praising God this evening. Because God is worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all praise. All praise. So we're just coming into his gates with thanksgiving and praise. We praise him. We glorify him. We magnify him. We lift him up. Hallelujah. And we give him the praise. Hallelujah. Our creator, our maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we say worthy to the Lamb of God. We said worthy to the Lamb. And so we're just coming into his gates with thanksgiving and praise. Praising the Lord, praising God. I say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I'm, I'm asking you to come in and invite your, invite your followers this evening. I do have a word from God. And so we're going to start out with prayer. We're going to start out with the word of prayer this evening. And hopefully y'all had a blessed day because God is good. He said his mercies are made new every morning. So we thank God for his new mercies, his new mercies, his new grace. Hallelujah. His fresh anointing, his on his people, his grace and his mercy. Hallelujah. Lord, we just praise you. We come into your gates with thanksgiving and praise. We, th we come into your gates with thanksgiving and praise. We just praise you for your goodness, for your mercy, for your being God. We just glorify your name. Lord, we just magnify your name. King of King and Lord of Lords. King Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you for the word that you have given me. And I'm saying, and, and Lord Jesus, I'm thanking you that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. The word is God. So it's all about his word. Hallelujah. It's all about God's word, God's assignment. Hallelujah. So I thank you for the hearts, and I ask you to come in, invite your followers. Praise the Lord. Um, Android swipe right from bottom to top. iPhone from left to right. I do have a word from God on Revelation. We're going to start at Revelation, the 20th ch chapter in the first verse, and then we're going to Revelation 21 and 1. So I thank God for his word. I thank God for his Holy Ghost and fire. Praise the Lord. I thank God for his Holy Ghost and fire. Haya Masha Ekorama Shanda. Holy Ghost and fire. Fire going through the airways, going through this scope. Hallelujah. Burning up every foul spirit, every demonic spirit that's not like God. Hallelujah. Thank God for the fire, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the airways for Jesus. And Lord, we just thank you for your blood that Jesus shed on the cross. Lord, we thank you for your blood. Hallelujah. Shut the blood of Jesus through the airways. The blood covering over everyone on this scope. The blood covering. Lord, I thank you for anointing, anointing me to bring your word, to speak your word, and to stay focused on your word this evening, Lord. I thank God for you, Jesus. I'm just praising. Lord, I thank God for your son, Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, who died on the cross for all of us. 
Hallelujah. So I'm going to get started here. So I thank God for the hearts. I thank God for you all coming on this, this evening. And I'm going to Revelation. Revelation, starting at the 20th chapter and the first verse. So hopefully you have your Bibles and you will follow me. Praise the Lord. So we thank so praise the Lord. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he shall deceive the nation no more. And praise the Lord. We, we, we praise God. Thank God for his word. Because the angels, you know, in Revelation 20, and we, we see in the destination of Satan. Satan and his angels. Glory to God. This is, this is where... This is where the devil's destination is. And we think, and, and the Lord said that Satan is going to be bound in the bottomless pit. This is right here is, is going to be a thousand years because, see, God is sentencing the devil. He is bringing sentence and revelation on the devil and his angels. Glory to God. So the Lord told me to go to Revelation. He said, go to Revelation because we are truly living men and women of God. We are in Revelation. And this is the destination. Uh, what's going on now in the world is we are in Revelation. We're in the end times. So, okay, God's word. God's word for God's people. Thank you, Jesus. So, okay, praise the Lord. And uh, Revelation 20 and three, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shed him up, and set a seal upon him, that he shall deceive the nation no more. Okay, till the thousand years shall be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. Okay, God is God is the proclaiming sinners upon the devil. Praise the Lord. This is Satan's destination, and his destination is hell. And hallelujah, the Lord God Almighty is proclaiming sinners upon Satan. Glory to God. And his angels, the word, God's word. And I, for I saw thorns, and they, and they that sit upon them, and judgment were given unto them. And I saw the souls of them were, was beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. And which had not worshipped the beast, had not worshipped him, glory to God, had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had, his, had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And these are they that stand in righteousness, and they didn't receive that mark, which is 666. We're going to go on in that to about the mark of the beast later. And the mark is 66, six, not, not receiving the, the mark of the beast, not receiving the devil's mark in their hands and in their, their forehead and in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years was finished. This is the first resurrection. This is the first resurrection. And verse 6, it said, blessed and holy, blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. Blessed. Want to have, and that's by living a holy life. Blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection. And the only way we're going to have part in the first resurrection is to live a Holy life, holy sanctified life, set apart, set apart. Praise God for the master's use. Pra yes, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we want to take part in that first resurrection, the first resurrection. And it's on such the second death 
has no power. I mean, the Revelation 20 and 6, on, on such with the second death have no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. And this is just the beginning of Satan's, the sentence upon Satan. Because God is coming to, hallelujah, he's coming for his people. And when a thousand years are expired, Satan will be, be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nation which are in the fourth, four quarters of the earth. Okay, I'm going to skip down. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire. Okay, I'm going to 10. So when you got time, you can read all of the 20th chapter. If you want to do sin, because this is God's sentence upon the devil and his angels. And people ask, why haven't God? They say, well, why have why God allowed this and not this? God is declaring sinners upon Satan. He got a set time, and we are at the, in the end time where God is going to put he, he, he declaring sinners upon the devil and his angels. Glory to God. And this and the revelation is is uh, God's God's word. God's word. Sent us upon the devil and his angels. Praise God. So I'm going to go to verse 10. Verse 10. Praise God. Praise the Lord. And the devil was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and they shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. God had this, okay, so I'm going to read it again. Revelation 20 and 10. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are. And they shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. God's word. So when people say, well, why is God allowing this and allowing that? The devil is only loose for a, a little while up on this earth. It's sinners and, and the people that follow the devil, this is his angel, the devil and his angel, the Satan worship, the witches, the warlocks. This is the destination, hell, fire and brimstone forever and ever. God's word, God's word. So God has sinners. Revelation is a sentence upon the devil and, and whoever's worship him. This is what this is the end. So this is why we serve God. This is why we give our life to God to miss hell's fire because hell is real. Hell is real. And people that have been to hell, I've heard many testimonies. I know people. That the Lord, they, they've been to hell and back, and they've been to heaven and back. They've been to heaven and back. Hell is real. Heaven is real. So we want to miss hell. We don't want to go to hell. So what, 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 is, what is in hell that we want? Because this is the destination of Satan and his angels. It's devil worshippers, witches, warlocks. All, they all be cast into the lake of fire. God is cleaning up this earth. He is returning it to it to to the way the re, the way He created it to be in the first place. In Genesis, the, in the beginning, He He created He He uh Hallelujah. Okay, we're gonna get to work with God. He bringing He bringing it uh He bringing judgment upon the devil. Praise the Lord. God is sentencing the devil, the Satan worshippers. The war, which is the warlocks, the devil and his angels. Praise the Lord. God's word. Okay. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophets are. And they shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Eleven. Okay. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Ever and ever means ever and ever. Eternity. Eternity. This is, this is where the witches, the warlocks, Satan worshipers, 
the devil's kingdom. Yeah, the devil's got a false kingdom. And anybody that followed the devil and obeyed the devil instead of God, making the devil their God. This is the def destination. It's God's word. Read it. Uh, Revelation 20 and verse 10. Hell and hell, fire and brimstone forever and ever. Glory to God. It's no joke. No joke. You light a match, put your finger in it, and decide if that's where you want to be forever and ever. Glory to God. While we got a chance, say, I believe I'll get it right, say, while I got a chance. Okay, hallelujah. While we all got a chance, while everybody that's breathing on this earth have a chance. Glory to God. Now is the chance. See, the Lord said, when you hear my voice, he said, harden not your heart. So God's call is unto repentance. God's call is unto repentance. So, you know, the people, ain't going to be no fellowship in hell. Ain't no, no, it's not going to be no fellowship in hell, no water in hell, no air conditioning in hell. Ain't going to be no porting in hell. Glory to God. It's going to be torment day and night. And the Lord gave me, the, he said, bring this message. He said, tell my people, read the word. I didn't write, God wrote, this is God's word. This is word is God. This is God's word. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whom faith the earth and the heaven fled away. The great white throne, and there were found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books was open, the books of life. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead was judged. Out of these, out of these things which was, which was written in the books, according to their works. We're going to all be judged according to our works. What we're doing here on earth, we're going to be judged. And the people that's preaching this grace, they're not preaching the fullness of grace and saying, well, you know, you once saved, always saved, not, not necessarily so. God will not leave us, but we can walk away from God. So that's that lying demon, that lying religious demon, deceiving people, wanting people to go to hell. See, the devil want people to go to hell. Yes. Yes, Adidas. Praise. Yeah. The devil want people to go to hell. He's setting traps for them. Even the Satan worship, even the warlocks, the devil going to laugh at them and torment them in hell. The false prophets, they're going to be false prophets in hell. They're going to be preachers in hell. They're going to be a bishops and a, be a lot of ministers in hell. The didn't, he said, whoa, God said, woe be unto the minister. That he's, yeah, yeah, Lord have mercy. Because now is the time. He said, when you hear my voice, he said, harden not your heart. There's going to become a time when it's going to be too late. Too late. Too late. He's going to say, the sentence is set. Glory to God. Be, people going to say, I changed my mind. I, I want to serve God now. There's going to come a time when God is, going, God is not, he's going, he going, he going to turn a death ear. Hallelujah. He's going to take his Holy Spirit off the earth. And people cannot, people can get saved now. That we got, we all got a chance. We all got a chance to give our life to God. We all got a chance to decide whom we gonna serve. Are we gonna serve God and go to heaven? Are we gonna serve the devil and go to hell and burn forever and ever? God's word. Read it. Revelation 20. 20. Okay. And I'm going over to Revelation. The, 20, the 21st chapter. See, and this is where, and I, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. A new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth was passed away, and there were no more sea. And I, John the Baptist, see, John the Baptist, God showed John the Baptist, John the Baptist, I mean, not John, not John, John, I, John. I'm sorry, John, not John. I, John, God showed John the things which were to come. John was a prophet. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, 
coming down from God out of heaven. It's a new city. A new city, a new heaven and a new earth. Without sin, without sin, there's not going to be any more pain. There's not going to be any more sin. Hallelujah. There's not going to be any more devil. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Going to be cast into the pit. Glory, to, glory be to God. See, God is pronouncing sentence on the devil and his angels and, his, and anybody that worship the devil. This is, the Lord is showing where, 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 the, this is sentence. This is the, this is revelation. Glory to God. Destination of anybody that served the devil and worship the devil. So this is why we pray. This is why we fed. This is why we live holy, a holy life. Holy. God is holy. He said, without holiness, no man shall see God. And God is no joke, and God is no fairy tale. So God says, his people are, God's people are, says, Lord says, sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. Cry loud and spare not. We are in revelation. Men and women of God, we are in revelation. And all, the, all that we've been through, going through, all the trials and tribulation that we go through on this earth, God is going to give us a reward because it's going to be eternal life in heaven. And it's not going to be any more devil around. It ain't going to be no more Satan worshipers around. It ain't going to be no more sin. Ain't no, ain't no, no sin going to enter into heaven. No sin. And I'm going to read God's word. I'm going to finish reading God's word. Glory to God. Yes, praise the Lord. Yeah, praise the Lord. Glory to God. But you know, thank God we're in we're in end times, and this is end time warfare. End time warfare. End time warfare. And so living right is gonna pay off after a while. Hallelujah. Serving God is gonna pay off after a while. Glory to God. And serving the devil is gonna pay off too. If you live right, you go to heaven. It's just, you know, it's simple. He said the way is so plain. It's so plain. It's a plain. You know, God's word. We. This is our road map. The Bible is our road map. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for a husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, behold, the tabernacle of God is with man, men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, his people. We're going to be, and God himself shall be with them, going to be with us, God's people, sold out people, and be and, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. He should be our God. He's hallelujah. And God should wipe, wipe away all tears. Revelation 21 and 4. And God should wipe away all tears from our eyes. I'm going to put our name there. I said there, you're talking about God, his people. And there should be no more death, neither sorrow nor cry, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for your word. I just want to pray, put a praise on it. Thank God. Thank God for his word. This is what God has for, the, for his people. A, pre a prepared place for God's people is heaven. For heaven, for God's people. And they don't see and go enter into to heaven. People, uh, the place for, for sin is hell. Glory to God. God's word. And I'm going to read this again. Four. Yes, open up our eyes. God, yes, indeed, does God want his people? We, he wants 
people to open up their eyes. He said, the day that I hear that voice, harden not the heart while we still got breath in our bodies. Those people that died in Orlando, they don't have a chance no more. They, hey, they gone on into eternity. They gone on. They don't have a chance no more. That's the truth. That is the truth. The truth should set us free. The truth is the only, a lie will not set anybody free. It might sound good, but it won't set anybody free. Okay? And I'm going to read uh, Revelation 21 and, and 4 again. Yes. And God shall wipe, wipe away all tears from their eyes. That's from our eyes. But our name. And there shall be no more death. No more death. Neither, neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I just want to praise God. I want to praise God for the promise, God's word. You say heaven and earth should pass away, but his word will not pass away. God's word. Amen. Amen. And Revelation 21 and 5. And say, and he that stood up on the throne said, Behold, this is he that stood up on the throne. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. He said, Behold, I make all things new, all things new. And he said unto me, Write. He said unto he was talking to John. Because John wrote this. This is what he, this is the vision that God gave John. For these things are true and faithful. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And he said unto me, he said unto John, he's talking, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending. I will give unto them that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. The water, the Holy Ghost, freely, freely. So he said, hallelujah. He said he would do it. So all we have to do is hunger and thirst after him. And I'm going to read that again. And he that sit up on the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, write. He was talking to John because John is, is the one that wrote Revelation. And this is for us, God's people, God's Christians, God's people that live in a holy life, hallelujah, soul out to God, soul out, soul out life. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate the hearts. And he said unto me, write, for, for these words are true and faithful. 6, 21 and 6, and he said unto me, it is done, it is done. That means it's over. Nobody got more. No one got chance to get it. If you're not saved, you're not going to get saved at that time. It's, it's done. It's finished. I, he said, I am. And, that, and Jesus Christ is saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. Freely. Praise God. Thank you for your word, Lord. Lord, we praise you. Just praise you for your word. Lord, we thank you for your word, Father God. Thank you for your word. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is your word, Lord. Lord, we just praise you. We just glorify you. Lord, we magnify you for your word. We just glory. We just praise you because your word, you say, your word is true. Hallelujah. Your word is living. Your word is your will to us, to your, your people, Lord. Then they live a holy life. They sell out to you. They sell out. They choose to live holy. Call holy, holy, because you are a holy God. He said, touch not the unclean things. 
He said, come out from among them and touch not the unclean thing. The destination of the devil and his angel is hell. Glory to God. So Jesus went to the cross for all of us, shed his blood on the cross, that we may have a chance for eternal life. And Revelation tells us, this is the end of the book. This is Alpha and Omega. This is the end. Jesus is Alpha. He's the beginning, and he's the end. And the end of, of, of sin, sin, and anyone that practices practice lifestyle sin that we got a chance and and right now the lord has given me to call for the sinners an altar call to repeat the sinner's prayer and whoever's on here that's viewing with me want to give your life to god want to go to heaven hallelujah you can go hallelujah freely Hallelujah. Read Revelation 21. Free. He said, him that thirst, he would give unto him water. Freely. That's the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. And you can choose right now. Heaven. You can choose heaven right now. And right now, I'm going to lead you in a sinner's prayer. You repeat after me. Lord, we thank you for your word. Lord, I just praise you. Lord, I ask you to forgive me of my sin. Just repeat after me. And if you repeat after me, you can know that your destination is heaven. And Lord, I thank you that you are, Lord, I give my life to you. I repent of my sins. Lord, forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of anything that I've said or done that's wrong, Lord. I make you, Father God, Jesus, I make you my Lord and Savior. I thank you, and I, and I know that you, God, that your son, Jesus, went to the cross. He went to the cross, and he died. But he not only died, but he rose again, that I may have eternal life. Put your name there, I, whoever's listening, put your name there, that, I, we, that we all may have eternal life. And, Lord, I make you my Lord, and I make you my Savior. And, Lord, I'll serve you. I give my life to you, Lord, and I will serve you all the days of my life. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. And I will live for you all the days of my life. If you prayed this prayer for me, you are born again and in the family of God. And the next step is the Holy Ghost. And, Lord, I'm asking you to give the people of God you, the Holy Ghost, the promise, Acts 2.38. Glory to God, the promise of the Holy Ghost, Acts 2.38. And, Lord, I'm asking you to fill your people. Anyone that prayed with me, I'm praising God for you, for giving your life to God Almighty. Now you're born into the kingdom of God, and the angels in heaven rejo is rejoicing. And I'm asking God to fill you up with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost and fire. Praise God. That's the power to live safe, to live holy. Praise God. Praise God Almighty. So we thank God for, for his goodness. I thank God for your viewers coming on here. I have get, I've did what God had told me to do. Obey my father. Hallelujah. Because I'm on assignment for God. Glory to God. I'm on assignment for the, for the Lord God Almighty. Praise the Lord. So I thank God for, for you all coming on and joining me. For joining me this afternoon. And I thank God for his word. And... <laughs> Glory to God. And I thank God. And it's to obey his word. If you want to go back and read Revelation, the 20th chapter, all of the 20th chapter. And all of the 20, chapter 20 and chapter 21. To go back and read that. So I thank God for all of you on here. I'm obeying my father. I'm on assignment for God Almighty. Obey the voice of God Almighty, because he gave me my assignment. As a prophetess of God, as a woman of God, as a servant, as a servant of God Almighty, I'll obey what God tell me to do. Praise God. And I thank God for, for you all viewers coming on and joining me. I said God's blessings upon you. You all have a blessed evening. Praise the Lord. And God be with you. Praise God.